Yes, 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 people. Welcome back to All with C Mills. It's me, C Mills here, and I'm bringing you uh, another character design video. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna be doing the same character Imani. Well, I'm just gonna try to go through the process as to how to create a character with references and just to kind of get the facial expressions down because before I, I was just using my headspace and be like okay how do I want this character to look and I kind of you know I kind of just basically wing it you understand so right now this video is to focus mainly on facial expressions and just to keep the character consistent when you're drawing and I'm going to show you guys just the process that I take so let's get started first I'm gonna do the skeleton of the character so I'm gonna select my pencil tool here preset and I'm gonna just basically create a skeleton as you guys have seen you've seen me do this before oops oh shit <laughs> all right so you know you create the circle for the head you know the skull area and you know create a line in the middle to kind of you know signify where the nose and the chin will fall you know you guys heard me say this before on my previous videos so yes this is how you create you know just the structure of the body and here you can see me bringing up reference so as i said before and you really need reference when you're creating a character because you want the character to be consistent and you want it to have some you know some realistic features in a sense and just to kind of guide you because these references do guide you as to all right the, the nose needs to be this way the eyes need to be that way they need to kind of smile this way still stuff like that let me raise that um yeah so reference is very important when creating a character and you know you can always remix the features right you can always be like all right i like this nose but i don't like the eyes and you can basically move those features up and about to your liking um what i'll do is you know speed up this this section right here in terms of just creating the skeleton because you guys have seen this before so i'm gonna speed this part up just so you can see how i'm gonna pose this character and how i'm gonna um, basically structure their body all right so now you've seen you know the structure of the character right um this is just the backbone of what i'm gonna be using to draw over this character and basically you know body proportion all of that uh, let me save this real quick raw hair all right imani oh, i'll try to name this as damn i got a lot of stuff like this um concept concept are right, your faces all right save that okay so now we're gonna create another layer and now we're gonna basically draw over this skeleton up. i'm gonna select my ink tool and start drawing um, Imani all right um, what I'm gonna do is try to select some other references just to, you know just to get the faces down as well as you know how her eyes are how her smile is all of the personality that I want in this character um, this character I basically wanted her to be very you know chill in a sense very chill character someone in a sense like you know there isn't it those kind of females that just you know she kind of chill you see me and i wanted her just to be like very cool very you know hands in the pocket kind of girl you get me um she doesn't wear a lot of tight stuff but she's wearing you know stuff that's comfortable <laughs> you know like because um based on the character she has a jacket let me show you guys what i had previously oops hold on yeah so this is what i had previously for a concept right and i'm sticking with this just a matter of you know changing some of the features of the face but everything else is going to remain the same all right um so you know you can see her jacket big evolution jacket that long down so right <laughs> but you know she still have the belly skin and all them thing there you know she's still looking still looking nice still looking sexy you know what i mean and you know she has the um the beady things around her waist and just the you know accessories on her hair and her hands so this character is just gonna be very very chill very you know tomboyish kind of girl all right um but also you know she, she she has a bright smile you get me very pleasant you know that kind of person to kind of keep you know it's a pleasant person to talk to you get me 
so here you can see me just these are just you know the inclines and i was going with a more of a roughish kind of vibe because you know this is like concept art so keeping keeping it kind of rough not too you know clean clean but yeah so she has the sleeves rolled up and all that you know don't know you know so you'll get her hands dirty if she needs to you get me that kind of vibe i'm trying to go with, with this character so yeah i'm gonna speed up this part and you're gonna see you know it coming to life you know understand you see what i say you're gonna see the character's face and everything drawn up and you're gonna say okay this look nice you know what i mean so yeah yeah man so i'm gonna speed up this part real quick and and after that i'll just be basically explain to you you know where i'm going with this character and just like the feel Alright, alright, so now that we have, you know, the general, you know, character drawn, you know, her, her feel, her vibe, now we're going to work on just the face positions, right? So, front profile, side profile, you know, quarter profile, you know, just the different angles of the face from front, back, side view, all of those views to kind of just get a sense of how the character's face will look in different positions right for here you don't need to show much expression it's just a matter of you know showing and signifying how the face will look in different turns different angles right um here you're gonna make sure you need guidelines as much as possible like those lines there um the top and bottom top of the head bottom of the chin just to kind of keep things consistent and you know it, it makes it easier for you to you know basically see all right this is the proportion this is how the head should be at all times right and as well as just keeping the guidelines there to guide you as to where the eyes need to be right you don't want it to be all over the place because that's how you lose the consistency of the character all right so you see i have line there for the eyes you run it through all the way and this is going to be basically four different angles right so yeah as i said the side um i don't know if you call it quarter three quarter view i'm not i'm not sure i am the back of the head um all of that stuff right so here i'm going to speed up again just so you can see you know the breakdown Alright guys, so now it's time to move on to the facial expressions, okay? Um, here you want to focus on, you know, different facial expressions in different angles. So for instance, when she's happy, when she's sad, when she's angry, you know, when your character's angry, stuff like that you want to put in here for your concept art, just to kind of get a gist of, okay, this is how they should look. And when you're doing a comic or you're doing like an animated video, anything like that, you can always come back to this concept art and look at, okay, that's how it's supposed to look. You get me? And focus on the features like, you know, you can see her dimples on the side when she smiles, stuff like that to, just to, to guide you. Because if you have it all in your head, sometimes you're going to mess up. Guaranteed you're going to mess up actually. So it's best to have these things documented 
um, I didn't have this documented that's why I'm doing this video now that's why I'm doing this now you know because I feel like I need to have it drawn just like how in the tell you you need to write stuff down this is basically what you're doing so keep it varied in terms of the different angles of the face you know um, just so you can know all right this is really how it should look at each angle and this is just you know practice too this is practice to kind of draw the character get used to the character in a sense where you know this is your uh, practice ground you know so you can keep the, the character looking how you want it to look and have it written down so you can always look back at the reference so this will be your reference throughout you know any of your projects where you're using this character all right so as i stated before make sure you know you have your, your, your base skeleton down for each pose all right um make sure that you stick with the same guidelines you get me um it's gonna kind of get hard to get used to at the start because they're just like oh man like are the eyes supposed to be right here you know stuff like that because you're drawing it in different positions different expressions because you know the eyes are gonna change once they smile the eyes are gonna probably squint a little you know um if they're angry the eyes are gonna be a little bit more bigger if their eyes are opening wide so you gotta make sure that um you have other references picture picture references of a character you know somebody that you want that's how you want them to look and if they have facial expressions that you want to keep then you look at that and look at how you know things change that like their nose will um their nostrils will open up when they're um when they're surprised or something like that little stuff like that you gotta add to your character to make them feel alive all right so yeah i'm gonna speed up this part <laughs> all right and i'm gonna you're gonna see just you know the different facial expressions and how i basically did it and make sure you know you can consistency in terms of the you know the design in her hair has to be consistent all that stuff so yeah i'm gonna speed it up here and you guys can see the process yes 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 looking lovely looking lovely all right so next step now is just to color this all right um i'm not going to use you know colors i'm going to use like gray scales so i'm going to use you know gray mixed with color because that's how basically i want my comic to look i want it to be you know the grays mixed with colors such as green gold and red right um those you know colors jamaican colors like you know the um green red um yellow stuff like that the rest of the colors also you know just to keep it make it different you get me and and for here you know it's much faster <laughs> in terms of you know just coloring wise you don't have to think too much about oh this shirt needs to be this color this red you know you, you keep it simple just to kind of get things going faster um but yeah so with this i just wanted to basically show you guys the process so her skin is gonna be you know kind of a mid darkish gray you know so she would have be kind of be like a little darker than a, a caramel skin <laughs> if you know you have to add color but um yeah so what i want is i want her accessories to kind of pop all right so like the stuff in her hair um the stuff on her hands stuff like that i want to basically you know exaggerate in terms of just you know the color she will have gold in her hair 
you know stuff like that to kind of keep things popping um, that will draw the attention to people um, that's how basically I want my comic to stay all right so that just like kind of like a Sin City kind of vibe but more yeah basically like that you know where the colors like for instance blood you're gonna see red while everything else is gray those stuff kind of help the artwork to pop out and it has a different style you know and as i say it it, it, it take less time you understand <laughs> it seems like it's just me so i gotta think smart in terms of how i'm gonna finish this stuff all right so you can see that you know i'm using the lasso tool to kind of keep things make things move much faster all right that's what that's what i do i basically trace the areas i want to get filled like for instance the jacket i try to trace around certain areas and just block it in all right and you have to make sure your bucket tool is placed the various settings you need to make sure it says foreground at the top and so that it doesn't fill in the areas that are already filled in gave me like um, her skin for instance and all of those stuff but I'm gonna reselect this area of pants I'm gonna make it a little bit darker than her skin but not as dark as the you know the undershirt that she's wearing you know just to keep the, the, the variations in terms of like just the tone of her um, whole character because yeah see I'm gonna make it a little bit nah that's too that's a little too dark yeah a little bit lighter yeah yeah that works yeah very nice very nice look at that just to clean up those areas very nice very nice alright now this thing should I keep the jacket white Nah, that looks more like a lab coatish kind of vibe. I want more of like a you know jeans jacket kind of vibe. Let me um do her lips right there. Light and a little bit more yeah, on there. A little bit lighter. Alright. Yeah that works. Okay, I gotta do the uh, teeth and them pearly whites you know what I mean very nice you see it's a puppy no yes yes very good very good yeah man see it starts popping now when the whites step in the white teeth and all of that yes yes lovely lovely I gotta do the eyes mate yes yes you see it's coming together man coming together yes love it all right now see it's time to put in the different colors now the gold yes you know it has a nose she has a nose piercing so keep that gold well yes hmm, what else? need to put the i'm not sure what color i need to put the jacket as hmm. need a little light lighter tone can think of some um can darken that area there put a little greens in as i said keep you know make it pop a little bit green and the reds lovely lovely and you know you're supposed to look the yellow effects there you go all right that's done now I gotta do the accessories in her here. What color should I put it as? Hmm. Now let me clean these areas right here. Let's do the jacket now. The jacket I want to go a little lighter. A little lighter than my skin. Let's see if that works. Alright, let me trace the area here. So you know see using the lasso tool as usual trying to get around those edges. You understand? Zoom zap zip all the place. 
and okay there you go it's one side That's the other from here I'm just gonna oh, this thing is lagging a lot um from here I'm gonna you know speed it up I'm gonna I'm gonna color everything you see here in this in this um, artwork and you can basically see you know the different tones that I use for the different areas like the hair and the you can see the jacket right here it's a little bit a little bit lighter than her skin color so you see the different tones playing here alright just to keep the character you know interesting and in the hair I'm gonna make it much darker than any, any everything else so that's gonna pop also so I'm gonna speed up here and you guys can see the process All right, all right. So that's Imani Bailey. Um, I would show you the process through the um, you know, different poses, but you basically get the gist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for me. Comment in the section below, and I will see you guys on the next video.